Hi everyone, it's Kino, another video at the Jiva Mukti Center in Berlin. Today's clip is going to be about Parjva Konasana A for beginners. This is like standing postures for beginners. Now when you start the practice of yoga, you want to make sure that you approach the posture from a level that's appropriate for you while maintaining as healthy and correct alignment as possible. You don't want to push past your limit. Instead, you want to go right to your limit, breathe and work there. Respecting the body, respecting where you are for that day and that will allow you to breathe, practice patience, compassion, and acceptance with yourself, while at the same time working your absolute limits so that your body will continue to grow, heal, and expand. If you were going to start off in Samasthi Tihi, in the standing posture, this is a neutral position, you would inhale, taking a step out to the right. Then I notice when I take a step out to the right, it's about the length of my leg, or for this posture, even a little bit wider is okay. Use the feet start off in parallel position, and then to enter the posture, you externally rotate the right hip joint, which will bring your right heel in alignment with your left arch. This is the most correct alignment. If you're totally new, you can even widen that out and do heel to heel. But I recommend you give it a try with heel to arch, because there are some other modifications that can make this totally approachable. The first thing that you might notice is when you externally rotate that hip joint, your pelvis has a tendency to turn forward or to turn out. You want to avoid that and keep it as neutral as possible. You want to keep the sitting bones right at the same level and then you want to send the right knee forward over the ankle while you press into your back heel. You want to suck in on the belly and really open the groin and open the inner thighs. So you can really feel all of your pelvis and all of your inner thighs are opening as the sitting bones stay as close to the same level as possible. Then you want to suck in the belly and lift the spine up out of the pelvis along the central axis of the spine. And then as you exhale, you're going to nice and easy lean into your right hip joint while you keep the left side of the pelvis moving back and you're just going to hook your right arm. What this is going to allow you to do is give a nice little resting point so you can get deeper into your right hip joint. Avoid the tendency to turn your pelvis forward or bend your back too much. Keep your belly sucked inside and make sure the knee is at least over the ankle if not over the middle of the foot. Just not past the plane of the toes. Okay, so if you've done this with me, your thigh should be starting to burn. Let it burn. Suck in the belly, hook your forearm under, pull the pelvis back, pull the ribs back, and squeeze them in at the same time to counteract too much arching backward. Roll the shoulder blade down the back and inhale, nice and easy, gazing at the left fingertips. If this is comfortable for you and you feel all right, the next step will be to dangle your right fingertips towards the ground, increasing the bend in the hip joint. You want to press your knee into the upper arm and keep the pelvis rolling open, keep the ribs sucked in, and roll the shoulder blade down the back. If that's comfortable for you, you can melt your hand into the ground. Remember, if when you try the more advanced step, your pelvis started to destabilize, pick it back up to that intro version and stay there. When you're ready to come out, press into your legs, inhale, come all the way back up, and you're ready for the other side. Let's do the other side together, just like we did the first, starting off in that neutral position. Externally rotate the left hip joint, then equalize the pelvis, suck in the belly, lift the spine up out of the pelvis, and send that left knee forward while you press into your back right heel. Make sure that you feel that opening right through the inner thighs, the sitting bones stay at the same level, sucking in on the belly, lifting along the central axis. You can, as you inhale, reach your arms out to the side. As you exhale, bend into that left hip joint and roll the shoulder blade down the back. You can check yourself, taking your hand to your pelvis, pulling it back. Taking your hands to the ribs, making sure they're pulling back without splaying open and without bending too much forward, just perfectly in line along the central axis. You can check your knee. Where's the knee? You want to make sure it's right over the foot. Usually, if your knee pulls back, that means your quadriceps is getting a little lazy, so you want to Send the knee forward and get down deep into the work of the legs. Roll the shoulder blade down the back and gaze right at the fingers. Once you're comfortable here, suck in the belly, bend in that left hip joint, dangle your fingers, press the fingertips, keep the alignment. Once you're comfortable there, sink your hand all the way down to the ground as you suck in the belly, gazing at the fingertips when it's time to come out. Press into the fingertips, back up to that intro step, straighten your leg, inhale all the way back up and you would move on to the next posture, but if that's all you're trying, you know, because you're new to the practice, be sure that you, know, you return to standing with the same level of integrity that you enter the posture. You want to make sure that you really use your legs. You're building nice, strong strength in your quadriceps. You're really opening the inner thigh. This is also a great stretch for the side of the hip and the leg that remains straight. So you definitely want to use all the components in the posture slowly, patiently, and let yourself build both strength and flexibility without rushing the process too much. Keep practicing and it will get better and better the more you practice.